All right, everybody, this is Matt Cox, and welcome to The Grind. Today, I'm gonna to talk about dating Jess, which is, you know, my girlfriend, and the, the constant battle uh, between the two of us on, uh, it's just a battle of the will, and, and she's winning, and that really bothers me. But before we get into all that, could you do me a favor and subscribe? If you're not already subscribed, hit the like button, and share the video with as many people as you can. Uh, I would really appreciate that. Leave a comment, that helps me out with the algorithm and I appreciate that. And anything I can do to boost my views that you can think of, do it. One of the things that kills me about Jess is that, like, uh, look, first of all, Okay, I, I'm not like this overly macho guy, all right? And this is a chick that, that was raised, you know, like riding dirt bikes and, and fixing cars and has several brothers. And, you know, she's just a rough and tumble chick, you know? I mean, she was, she was in the military. When she got out of the military, she, for seven years, She's like a tour guide for like hog hunting where they, she would take guys out hog hunting. So she takes groups of people out and they, they hunt down hogs and they kill them and they skin them and, and, and gut, it's just disgusting. I mean, it's something I would never do and I would just, it's just insane to me. She's, I mean, she's, that, she's that chick that you wrestle with. She's that chick that punches you in the arm when you get out of line, you know, that, you know, it's funny. I have a friend named, uh, a, a friend named Shannon and he says, He's like, she's got more fucking testosterone running through her body than you do. He goes, hands down, there's no way you can even compete. It just, it, it kills me. And this is the thing, like, to me, I'm so excited to have, you know, a girlfriend that I'm attracted to, that's amazing, that's, you know, sweet and cute and, you know, and I talk all the time. So I send her texts that are like, you know, a paragraph that are, you know, whatever, 20, 30 words. And she sends back, you know, um, a one word response is, okay, yeah. thanks. Yeah. All right. She'll give me a little thumbs up sometimes. Sometimes it's just a smiley face. I mean, this is a chick that, is, it, that uses very few words. It, if she does it all, it's dri that's driving me nuts, you know, and I've said it multiple times to her. I've sat her down. I've said, look, you know, you got, I, I mean, I, I don't, I'm not trying to smother you or anything, but you got to be a little bit more affectionate when I'm texting you and stuff. And she goes, she's like, I mean, that's not really me. And you know, that's me, not me. So, you know, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. It's basically what she's saying is deal with it. Then the other day I was, I mean, it, it, it's, it's stuff like this too. It's like the other day I was, uh, I, John Boziak and I, we went on a shoot with uh, MS, MSCS uh, Media in, uh, in uh, was it Boca? No, it's not Boca. We went to, um, shoot, where did we go? Uh, it, was, um, it was Palm Beach. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was Palm Beach. So we went to Palm Beach and we were there and like the whole day, she just got in her head that she wanted to shave her head. She just decided, she's like, yeah, I wanna shave like the sides of my head. I'm tired of it. I'm gonna cut my hair real short. And she kept sending me all these pictures and I was like, no, absolutely not. And so we went back and forth, back and forth all day. And she was sending me these, these pictures of these chicks with shaved heads. <laughs> Look at, look at this fucking guy. Look at this. I mean, this is, this is just a lot of bad decisions. That's what that is. Um, but no, what I, oh, here, here she is again. So here's what I just talked about, what we were just talking about, is that Jess, my girlfriend Jess, um, has been sending me pictures. She wants to cut her hair. And so she's sending me pictures of all these different girls I'm going to get you in here. So she's sending me pictures of different girls with haircuts and she wants to shave the side of her head. And I'm like, no, no, you're not doing that. She's like, no, it's okay, baby. Um, I'll have you do it. So we're going back and forth all morning. This has been going on since five fucking o'clock this morning, by the way. And like our conversation we just had was funny. Right. Like we're talking about shaving the head, coving it sideways. Nah, you wouldn't even know. So it's a whole discussion. I'm pissed off because I said to her, 
I go, okay, well, wait, don't do anything yet. I go, I sent her a text and I said, wait until we get, I get back and we can get together and we can talk about it. And she goes, we just did talk about it. I'm cutting my hair. And I mean, bro, um, it's women. that's fucking, I'm freaking out. Like I, I don't, that's fucked up. I mean, and that's just her. She's like, no, I, I, we just talked about it. I made the decision. And I don't think that's a decision that she should be able to, should make on her own. She, <laughs> she, no. While we were talking about that, I should have pulled this out and had that conversation the whole time. But I didn't. All right, well, that's it. So, who is this? And this is her right now. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Look, look, this is, these are the pictures she's sending me. Like, this is the picture she's sending me of oh, girls. Oh, dude, that's sexy. It is sexy, but fuck, but, I mean, bro. Oh, that's Ruby Rose anyway. She's a is lesbian. It? Is she? Man, that, she's yeah, lesbian. Yeah. And orange is new black. What I'm saying, look, here's another, oh, here's another one, look. So this is the other picture. It's also not bad, actually. No, but I'm saying she's like, it's like she's made this fucking decision. That's a big decision. That's not a decision. I don't think that's a decision she should be making on her own. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And she, it's like she's taunting me. She's actually taunting me. I think she thinks it's funny because she knows that it irritates me. So she thinks it's funny. And she's doing it on purpose because she knows how to get under my skin. Because she's basically calling the fucking shots. She's letting me feel like I run this show. But the truth is, when it boils down to it, she's fucking running things. And that's just, it's horribly emasculating. It's just such a drain. You know, we were, <laughs> this, is, this is the worst. This is the kind of stuff that happens all the time. And I don't, I don't think, I don't think I told this story, I don't think I mentioned it. I mentioned it to a couple of people. I don't know if I've said it on one of my vlogs or not, but it's, it's insanity. I mean, look, after I got my apartment, right? Like I got my apartment and I went out like the next day and I was, or a couple days later and I was shopping and I was buying stuff. I was buying like, I was buying pillows and I had to buy sheets and I had to buy, uh, you know, I had to buy a, a comforter and I, I just had to buy a bunch of stuff. I had to buy a bunch of stuff for my, for my, uh, my kitchen. I had to buy silverware and well, not, not silverware. I bought to buy like a tray thing. It doesn't matter. The point is, is I, I, I bought some glasses and things like that. And one of the places I went to was like bed, bath and beyond, which was extremely expensive. Um, and I didn't buy very much there, but she called me on the phone when I was just getting there. And I walked in and she goes, where are you? I said, I'm at Bed Bath & Beyond. I'm gonna buy some pillows here. Cause they had those pillows, um, uh, what are they? Um, the greatest Amer or American pillows or pillow, pillow America or something. I don't know. The guy, the, uh, the guy that makes the pillows here in the U S and they got like little foam things. Anyway, they're great pillows. So I was like, Oh, they're, you know, they're here. I'm going to buy, I'm going to buy those, some of those pillows here, maybe some sheets or something. I don't know. And she goes, okay, well, she goes, well, all right, well, you know, call me when you're done. I said, okay. So I hang up the phone. Like an hour goes by, she calls me back and she goes, where are you? And I said, I'm, I'm, I'm still at Bed Bath & Beyond. And she goes, first of all, when I said Bed Bath & Beyond, I could feel her smiling, you know, like that alone was a little dig that I'm a guy at Bed Bath & Beyond. You know, all right, well, I'm comfortable enough in my masculinity to go to Bed Bath & Beyond. So I don't wanna hear any shit. So an hour later, I'm still there. And she goes, you're still at Bed Bath & Beyond? I went, yeah. I said, I mean, they've, they've got a lot of stuff here. Like they have, you know, they have scales and they have stuff for your kitchen and they have stuff like they have bath towels and, and they've, they have lots of stuff. They have like, you know, throw rugs for your bathroom and, a cur and curtains for the shower. I said, they got a lot of stuff. I said, I mean, honestly, Jess, I said, I, I hate to say this. I said, baby, I said, I, I, could, I could spend all day here just walking around. And I realized how that sounded. I said, wow, Jess, that sounds really bad, doesn't it? And she goes, no, baby. She goes, it's fine. She goes, I feel the same way about Bass Pro Shop. I mean, uh, she, she, goes, she said, she goes, I could spend all day there. She goes, I love that place. When I got COVID, like I was I mean, I was trying to do stuff, but I, I was so exhausted all the time. And she's up and, and doing stuff and she's sick, but she's like, look, I, I, she laid in bed for like a couple days. And then she said, look, I can't, I can't do this anymore. I can't lay in bed anymore. She said, I've got I've to do something. She was like, I, I got to get out of here. I can't just lay around all day. And I, and I was exhausted. Like I, I couldn't, I was so tired. And she said, you know what I'm going to do? She said, I'm going to go 
She said, I'm gonna go to my house and I'm gonna go fishing. And I went, oh, okay, are you sure? Should you be fishing? And she goes, well, I won't be around anybody. She goes, and I'm not, that, I'm tired, but I'm not that tired and it doesn't take much to fish and I'm gonna go fishing. She goes, is that, is that okay? And I was like, yeah, yeah. She goes, okay, well, I'll see you. Jumped in a truck, took off, went fishing. No, she didn't go fishing. When she got to her house, her dad said that his brakes were going and he bought, I think he bought all the brake stuff. And she called me up and she said, listen, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stay here at my dad's and I'm gonna switch out uh, his brakes and or fix his brakes or replace his brakes or whatever. And I think she replaced like the rotors and drums or something, I don't know. Took her all day. And the next day she was supposed to come back over here and she called me, she goes, look, she goes, baby, she goes, I'm so sorry. She said, I never did go fishing. You don't mind if I go fishing, do you? I said, no, if you wanna go fishing, I mean, I was asleep. All, sleeping all day anyway. And uh, yeah, she spent the whole day fishing while she had COVID. While I couldn't get out of bed, that should let you know what I'm, I'm dealing with. This chick's, while I can't get out of bed, she's fixing breaks and she's going fishing. You know, she, what she's doing right now is she's in school. Like she goes to school during the day and then at night she goes to work. But she's in school to be a marine mechanic. So she's hanging out with these guys all day. She's fixing uh, engines. That reminds me, I don't know if I ever mentioned this, but my car one time, my Jeep, so I had this piece of garbage Jeep before I had my current little uh, chick Jeep that I'm driving. So, this is so bad. So one time my old Jeep, the, the alternator went bad, so it wasn't, charging up the battery and we, I didn't quite know what was wrong. So it ran out of, uh, it ran out of juice one day, it just died. I actually, Jess and I were actually at dinner. So I started it and I was driving and it just, it just died. And I pulled over and Jess got out of her car with her jumper cables. And I remember she put her jump, put the jumper cables on her car and I handed me the jumper cables and I was standing there and I wasn't quite sure which one was positive. And I was kind of looking at them. I was like, God, but which one? And she, I remember she looked at me and she goes, she goes, oh my God. She walked over, grabbed the jumper cables and boom, put them on there. And she goes, just get in the car and start the car. She says, just leave it running. So I got in the car, started the car. And then we figured out that the alternator, it was the alternator. And I told her, I said, look, I said, Follow me, I'm gonna drive across the street. There's a, uh, there was a repair station, like a, an auto repair station. I go, I'm gonna go to the auto repair station and I'm just gonna leave my car, my Jeep there. And she goes, it's just your alternator. She goes, it's three bolts. She goes, I'll change it this weekend. I mean, it, it was just, it's, it's stuff like that that's just, I, I, I can't change an alternator. I don't know, I'm not 100% positive what the alternator does. A couple of weeks ago, no, it was like a month ago. Was it like a, almost a month ago? It was like, like two, three weeks ago, almost a month ago, uh, my tire went flat. And I remember I called Jess, it was storming out, it was a tropical storm, it was raining. And I, I called Jess and I was like, hey, my, my tire's out. And I remember she said, baby, do you want me to come change your tire? And I went, no, I can change the tire. And she goes, are you sure? I <laughs> and she was serious, she wasn't making fun of me. She really didn't think I could change the tire. Didn't really matter because Jeep doesn't actually have a tire, so I couldn't change the tire because there was no tire to change. So one time we were texting, and I remember I was like, how are you doing? She's like, I'm having a really bad day. And I was like, what's wrong? And she goes, I'm just, it's just a bad day. And I was like, well, what's the problem? And she goes, I'm just feel really depressed. She said, I had this, this knife, this buck knife, and I lost it, and I'm really upset about it, and I, I can't find my knife. And it, it had sentimental value and uh, one of the guys at work gave it to me and it was a really cool knife. She goes, and I'm really just irritated about it. I'm irritated because it was my favorite knife. Someone just texted me. Let's see what I got here. This is my buddy, Steve. I just, I guess in the last 24 hours, I got a, like a hundred subscribers. I've been, I've been getting about a, last, probably last week or so, I've been getting like a hundred subscribers a day. I don't know why, I mean, and I'm, I'm working on the content thing. I'm definitely working on the content thing. So, so later that day, I, I, get, I get a picture of Jess and she was all excited because she found her knife at work. And this is just, you know, and I remember when I was talking about it, I was like, I just, I said, I just can't believe I'm dating a chick that, that when I go to open up a box or something and I'm like going to pull the box apart, she goes whoosh and pulls out a buck knife. She goes, here, 
so I was laughing about that and she, she started laughing and I said, what's so funny? And she goes, it's just funny because I mean, when I was growing up, she goes, I can't believe I'm dating you either. She goes, cause I always made fun of guys like you. And I was like, well, what do you mean you make fun of guys like me? And she goes, you know, I mean, you know, you're like a city boy. She's like, I mean, you don't really know how to do anything. I mean, you don't fish, you can't fix cars. She goes, I mean, I, I don't, I'm not sure, I'm not sure why we're dating. Like we go back and forth on that all the time. Do me a favor, subscribe, hit the like button if you liked it. If you didn't like it, you know, hit the, hit the dislike button. No, I'm just joking, don't hit the dislike button. Um, hit the like button, uh, share the video and uh, do me a favor, leave a comment, and I'll try and get back with you. I try and get back with everybody. If you're interested in my story, buy the book. If you're interested in hearing more about Jess and I and how we met, uh, one of the suggested videos will be um, The Girlfriend. And that's pretty much it. And I'm gonna put some more content together and I will get it out as soon as possible. Uh, I'll probably have something come out on Thursday. I'm trying to do Tuesdays and Thursdays. And that's, that's pretty much it. That's where I'm at. Sorry it was kind of all over the place. I'm really bad at this. See ya.